360. Um, I also had gotten Sonic Unleashed and Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection that same day. I had also gotten Sonic Riders 2 Zero Gravity that same day, but my PlayStation 3 is a 120 gigabyte console. My personal PS3 is a 120. So there's no way I can play PS2 games in HD on that. I would need to get a 160, which I'm trying to get now. But uh, right now I really don't have any money. <laughs> I really don't have any money. I'm like, I'm semi-broke, but I'm not really because I'm saving money... I'm, here's what I'm doing. I'm saving money for class dues, and I'm saving money for everything else. It's... Pardon me, just fix my neck. <laughs> yeah, my neck hurts this way. Um, I'm saving money just so I can do that stuff. Anyway, back to the uh, PS3 library that I have. I have... I have Bejeweled 2. I have the demo for Rocket Knight. If I can use the... Uh, it, C and I can is he and I C and I am eligible for the download the two free games thing. I'll download Rocket Knight and I probably may download Puzzle Geddon. Because I also have the demo for that too. If I don't end up um getting Puzzle Geddon, I'll get the prices right or Super Puzzle Fighter 2, which is the eighth version of Street Fighter 2 in my opinion. I've I'll tell you every single installment of the Street Fighter series in for Street Fighter 2 because I've because I'm fully aware of it. In fact, I'll I'll give you the entire library that I know for for Street Fighter and Street Fighter Alpha after I'm done, obviously. Um after that it was I'm like going in order by what it is shown on the uh, download list. Like when I download it, it um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which I had to re-download the demo and then purchase it. Mega Man 9 and 10, which I bought on the same day. I bought it. If any of you are in Mass, if you if, if any of you are in Massachusetts, you may recall like back in like late August or early September. When we had that uh, Nor'easter, I bought Mega Man 9 and 10 that same day, and I went to, and, um, my friend Noha, I went to her, I went to the restaurant that her family currently owns, Medina's Pizza and Subs. If you've never been to it, please go to it. It's awesome. If you've, if you're familiar with Pappy's place, uh, Medina's took over. It they really improved it. I love it, even though I've only been in there like once. I've been in Pappy's at least three times, so I mean, like, no one, no one, the quality of the place is very useful. Back to the library. Uh, <laughs> uh, dang, I can't even remember what else I got. Oh yeah, I have Rockman one to three. I have Rockman um. I have Rockman Complete Works 1, 2, and 3. So instead, I might get Rocket Knight Adventures in um, HD, and I might get Rockman Complete Works 4 if it's available. If it's available. If not, I'll get the prices right, or Super Puzzle Fighter 2, or Puzzle Gen. And then after that, I had also gotten... Dang, I, remember, I, I now have one more title. No, I just wrong. I have, I have a few more titles. I have, I have Mortal Kombat 2. I have Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, and I think two more titles. Two more titles. Sorry. Pac-Man Championship Edition and Pac-Man Championship Edition Director's Cut. That's that's my entire library. And then for my music library. I have like thousands of Mega Man songs because I downloaded the entire Mega Man music archive if you noticed in my other video. I literally have the entire archive. Um, I'm, I'm just like double checking the time so pardon me if you hear like faded out volume or whatever. I'm like moving back and forth with the audio recorder. 
say I have over 6,000 songs, and that also consists of the stuff that I downloaded from Retro as well. And this also applies with other stuff um, that I had gotten from either discs I have in the house from my old iPod or my friends Chris and Jovi, who I will try and also put in an annotation or a link if if this is the Facebook version, I'll definitely link them in a link or an annotation if Facebook allows annotations. Ugh. Okay, now on to what I was saying about the the nine different versions of Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2, as you may already know, is Capcom's most overpopulated game. With nine different versions, it beats Mega Man in any form. There has never been so many remakes of a Mega Man game, or Ghosts and Goblins in that matter, than Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2, I mean Street Fighter 2, not Street Fighter 1. Was Street Fighter 1 even released in North America? Because I'm only seeing like Japanese versions. I only, it, like, the only US version of Street Fighter 1 that I've noticed was Street Fighter for Windows Mugen, and I don't even know how to function Mugen. If it, I downloaded Mugen back in 2008, and it, like I don't even know how to function it. C commenters, please, if you can give me like a tutorial video in in a comment or whatever, please, please help me with this. I don't know how to function Mugen. I've long wanted to play Mugen for all these years, and I never could. Please help me if you can. So anyway, the nine different versions of, Soup of Street Fighter 2. Or probably I might just want to say every single Street Fighter game I know. Street Fighter, Classic Street Fighter 2, uh, Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition for Genesis, Street Fighter 2 Plus for the Mega Drive. Uh, what came after that? Classic Super Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2 The New Challengers. Um... And then what came after? Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter Alpha 1, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, which included Hyper Street Fighter 2, which is the sixth Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 installment, Super Street Fighter 2 Revival, actually no, edit, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival, which is for GBA if you haven't played it yet. Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, Street Fighter... I'm really thinking of saying Street Fighter 4 because I... because I noticed Street Fighter 4 came out in 2008. After that was Super Puzzle Fighter 2, I believe. 